What's up, folks? Sorry it's dark. Probably be grainy, but I've been up since 5:30, and the sun's just now coming up. What time is it? Well, I don't have. A, I don't have a clock. It's like 7, 7:15. It's starting to come, but it ain't up yet. There's a little mountain range here. I guess that's a mountain. I don't know. There's snow on it. So, if you're following along, a la verga. If you're following along, I hit it there. I don't know if I said it. I, I, I left Tucson yesterday. Uh, I wanted to go, I, I posted on Instagram, I took a picture. And I want to go someplace beautiful, someplace warm, and someplace where I can fish. And I got two out of three. Meaning it's not it's not warm here. But it's definitely beautiful. And I guess we're about four thousand feet, so there's no there 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 is snow on our ground still, so it did snow here, but it's 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 gone. So you can see like just barely, like maybe at about six thousand feet. There's snow. Well, I'm gonna quit fucking around. So, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Hold on. Gotta accelerate. Everybody's in a hurry. Uh, so this is, I don't know, I can't even describe it. It, it, it. As much as I love Tucson, just being here feels better. Like driving through the interstate, went up a hill, and when he came back through a hill, through like a road is carved out of the mountain a little bit so you kind of don't see anything and then you come out and then you can see all of these it was miles away but you can see all these red rock formations and it's 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 awesome so it was a, it was a, I slept the whole night uh, I, my, my 25 degree bag it I, when we woke up it was like 29 spent a lot of time reading last night and it got cold my hands got cold but I fired up my mr. buddy uh, for probably about 10 minutes uh, got out to take a pee let mr. buddy run a while came back in I gotta research the uh, the co2 output co2 yeah carbon dioxide output on that thing I don't I, th I thought it didn't put out very much if any at all but I don't know. I have to double check. Because I don't want to... It's, it's a really confined space in here. So... But... It's enough... It, it's long enough to get me warmed up. To get the blood flowing again. So that I can... Uh, so that my hands aren't so cold. So I can keep reading. The rest of me is usually okay. But if I'm reading, my hands get kind of chilly. What else? What else? Uh, keto day 26. Not much to report. Yesterday I had bone broth, some nuts, and I stopped at Whole Foods and got four sausage links. I grilled them in the back. Now that, that's what sucks, is that I cook outside. I have to cook outside. I don't have a kitchen in here, and it's cold. So I was freezing my tail off cooking my dinner last night. It wasn't so bad. I almost got rid of, rid of my propane grill 
because I got the volcano grill and I like to cook, make a little fire or cook with charcoal or whatever. I really enjoy that. But the past week or so, having to deal with the weather, it's been easy to just uh, fire up that little Coleman grill and uh, cook whatever I need to cook, get it on a plate and get it inside the van and eat it. So I'm happy I didn't, I didn't get rid of it. I almost did. Uh, but, so right now I'm headed to a, a coffee shop that's uh, right on the creek. It's, the view is gorgeous. It's amazing. Uh, worth the pr price of a cup of coffee. I'm going to get to work. I really wonder how long it takes me. It's been five minutes so far. I don't know why in the middle of the mountains, or in the middle of the desert, just before it hits, you hit the mountain range, there's all this red earth. I have no idea, but it's gorgeous. So today's goals are, let's see, let's talk about what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go get coffee, log in, check my book sales, of course. That's what you do when you're an author, you check every day. Um, I've been getting some really I don't even know great is the word. I've been getting feedback from people that are reading my book and uh, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. I'm gonna post some stuff on, I'm taking some screenshots and I'll post some stuff on Instagram. Uh, I guess the first person to finish my book wrote me and was like, excellent work finished it in two sittings it's only it's a novella so it's small but still uh, that feels so good you know something I created from scratch people are in, enjoying hell yeah it feels real good uh, so I'll post some stuff on Instagram and uh, do some business bullshit, tax, whatever. I don't know. I hate it. I gotta be positive though. I'm, po I'm positive I hate it. I'll get better light now. Oh my god. And then, uh, so after my usually morning routine and getting some stuff out of the way me and dummy are going fishing last time I was here was November beginning of November like November 2nd first or second and we walked this creek or we walked this trail along Oak Creek and I was looking I didn't see any fish activity while I was looking and but apparently, it's the best place, one of the best places for trout fishing in Arizona. So, trout fishing it is. Bust out the Tenkata pole and we're going fishing. So, that's been the missing key since November, since I left Boulder. That's been my missing, uh, that's what's been missing out of my life, is uh, trout fishing. Other than that, I don't have nothing, I don't have nothing else to say right now. Not a whole lot. I'm excited to look to see if anybody left a review. I'm excited to look to see if anybody bought and if, and if there's been any more purchases. It's kind of hard being an author trying to sell books, believe it or not. The writing part, the creative part, the the, the, the whole that whole process, that's awesome. I love it. Um, but I would like to sell some books. I would like to uh, be able to make enough money selling books that I can keep writing them. Uh, 
That's why I dumped quite a bit of money into this, into this first book. The other ones, not so much. I wanted to get this first one up. I don't have any expectations, is what I'm saying. I don't have any expecta expectations. But it's still hard to not have expectations and to want people to read your stuff. La verga! This van is getting a little out of hand with stuff. I keep buying my books to sell or whatever, and so I have, I have insulation I didn't install. So I'm taking up a lot of space. I need to do some work. I should have done it while I was still warm. Anyways, I'm just rambling on now. So that's all I got for today. I appreciate you guys, uh, all, all six of you who watch <laughs> my videos. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm just being myself and I'm enjoying it. And I have so much. Uh, I, I get to do what I love. And, um, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll make another video from down in the creek where we're fishing. I got some things to say. Oh, veteran homeowners. That's one thing I want to talk about. Remind me, veteran homeowners. And then, um, oh, upgrade your bucket list. I got to talk about those two things. The two things I want to talk about. And, uh, We'll see. I'll get to him. All right. Thank you.